So now for the positive body image, a few, uh, this is where I talked about, it's time for you queens to, uh, time for you to play your role, where I was like, you guys have an edge up on, on some of us. So <clears throat> there's, a, there's a natural maturation to, to the female ages, right? Um, in, a, in a sense, we go from, from princess to queen. And neither one is like wrong or bad, uh, or good or bad or whatever. Um, but it's just, a, it's just a tendency, it's kind of the natural evolution of, of our life. So the princess phase is like when we're younger, going through our teens, 20s, even into our like 30s, even into our 40s. The princess phase is somebody tell me I'm doing okay. I need validation. How do I look? Am I doing it right? <laughs> like I need some, I need some like, some more like external like validation, reassurance encouragement, um, I'm maybe a little more focused on like, well, you know, what I look like or, you know, insecure about, am I, am I doing it right? Am I doing it okay? Um, and kind of need that uh, validation or reassurance. The queen, um, we transition, just a natural transition into our queen. The queen, she don't care what anybody think. She does, she's like, She's been, she has her life experience. She owns herself exactly how she is. She walks into the room and everyone's like, well, you know, like she's owning herself. She's confident. Like a, you know, an, an Oprah or an Ellen, those are queens. Like they don't, they don't care what everyone thinks. They don't necessarily need someone else's, um, you know, okay or opinion. And, you know, I think we have some beautiful, like, queens, and queens in transition, right? When you're getting, like, you're full queen, like, in your probably, like, you know, 50s, 60s, like, that's when you're, like, just, you're, you're, like, queen, queen then. Um, but does everyone kind of relate to this transition of, like, stepping into your own and um, just, like, gaining that confidence? And it's something that, like, not to... It's not that we have to like force it to happen, but it's sort of a natural life transition. Um, and, and I think it's amazing. Um, so mirror work is, uh, I have a handout for this, but it's pretty easy to just explain. So with the positive body image, of course, is literally, it's self-explanatory. How do I imagine my body? Like, no matter what anyone else says about my body, what are the thoughts in here about how it performs, how it looks, um, how it's dealing with food? Like how much of my day am I spending thinking about that? And is it mostly negative or mostly positive? Um, mirror work, it's a pretty powerful, pretty intense exercise. You literally get in front of a full length mirror with as little clothes as you feel comfortable with. Um, you can do it, uh, ultimately you want to Try and do it nude, and you just stand there for you can you can build up to it like one minute to five minutes, and you just look at yourself. You just kind of you start with um, anything that's like negative that's popping up. It's like that's the hard part when you first start. Is you're like, oh crap! Like why do I have all these awful things to say? Like I don't like this. I don't like that. Why aren't you like smaller right now or whatever? Um, then if you continue the practice you'll get to a point where you can more notice. You can almost have an outside view and be like, huh, that same thought is coming up again. Hmm, like that's interesting. Where does that come from? Like not, not, letting, that, not letting yourself go into the thought and like being bought into it. Like, yeah, you are ugly. Like, you know, and like being bought into it, that might happen at first, but then you'll get to the point where you're like, oh, you know what, I really like my hair. My eyelashes look pretty good today and I just got a pedicure, or like whatever it is, like we all love something about our body. We love our hair, eyes, or like, even if there's those parts where we're like, gosh, I wish this was different, like, cool, that's okay. Like we're never, you know, it's, that's human to like fall into that, but it's about getting to that, like I said at the beginning, that 80% of the time, I'm now like good with myself. I'm loving myself, I'm owning myself, and that's just for me because there might always be someone, no, ma no matter what I look like, there's always gonna be something that says I'm not right, <laughs> you know, or not good enough or whatever that is, which we've heard already some of us have had <laughs> those experiences. Um, so this is just for you. Um, affirmations, ooh. 
Um, affirmations, you can do that in the mirror work. So ultimately that last step will be like affirming in a very positive way. So as soon as that negative thought comes up, you can notice it and then you can all replace it with like, I am beautiful. I am healthy just the way I am. I am like started with I am because that's a very powerful statement. I am hardworking. I am sexy. Whatever it is that you honestly, it's whatever it is you feel like you're not. That's what you want to say that you are and that will help you even if it feels like cheesy or just like you don't even actually believe it at first. Just practice it. Try it. Laura. That's where I feel like CrossFit is so empowering for me because I remind myself, like if I feel down about how I look, I remind myself like, I did a shitload of pull-ups today. <laughs> I, I climbed that damn rope. Yes. So, so I remind myself of like Heck what my yes. too. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah, that's perfect. Cool. Okay, so we are going to pass out some goodies now. Babe, will you help? <laughs> this is my boyfriend, Bruce. Can we just give him a hand? Because this whole thing like would not have happened without him. He designed the flyer for Facebook. He helped me put all these together. So this really quick, I want to give him out because there's a little affirmation card in here, a little sticky note that you can put on your mirror. If you guys want to pull it out right now, you can, or you can do it when you get home. And there's, um, of course, RX bar in here. Oh, no. Go ahead and grab one. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. So a little sticky notice for your affirmation. Silver shoes. Thanks. My shiny oh, shoes. This has been really great. Thank you. Yay. Yes, I'm so glad. Everyone get one? Yeah. Okay, so you can open up your bags. So the little sticky note is to write your affirmation. You can put it on the wall. Um, there's a little card in there if you, I'll just talk about that now since I gave it to you. Um, if you guys want to fill that out with your name and email, um, I'll send you my free ebook. It's called, uh, this card? yeah, that card, name and email, and you turn that in. And I will send you my uh, fitness goal setting workbook. So it dives a lot deeper into how do I start with a fitness goal and achieve it in a sustainable way. Um, go over like accountability, um, measuring the goal, because how I say it, what's uh, measured matters and what matters is measured. So in CrossFit, when we're trying to achieve something, we don't know what, if we don't know what our squat was three weeks ago and we do a squat today, how do we know how much we've improved? So that uh, fitness goal book goes over all that and it's really great. Um, you can like just pass them down this way and we'll pick them up. Once you filled it out, pass it to your left. Do you want to help me pick these up? Cool. Um, other things that just kind of help with positive body image, one thing is like just setting up your environment. So if you notice, are you around a lot of people that are always putting themselves down? And that kind of like pulls you into, oh yeah, like you're right, I need to like fix myself too. <laughs> like I'm not, I don't look good enough. Um, it also has to do with like, what are you reading? What are you watching? Like, do you always pick up the magazine that's like, get, get fit fast, next quick fix? Um, or are you trying to be a little more like empowering about it? Um, embodiment and ownership. Embodiment is just like being in our body, which we all do, because we exercise, we move, um, being present. And a big one for ladies, I know, Don, you didn't want me to do this, but. Uh, I'm okay. Dance, for, for women, dance is actually, burns one of the highest calories of any exercise because CrossFit I think has this too, but because of the communal aspect, there's like extra like endorphins and stuff that go off when we're dancing. Okay, so we're gonna kind of wrap up here. We're gonna do a, just a little few minute kind of 
visualization. So I'm going to have everyone close your eyes. <laughs> Munch on your RX bar. <laughs> go for it. Go for it. Good. Go and close your eyes for just a minute here. Take a couple deep breaths. And first of all, just thank yourself for showing up here, maybe learning a thing or two or reaffirming a thing or two or having a, a new idea. And just kind of picture your, your inner little girl and how she was when she, when she ate and when she ran around and was playing. And what she what she liked to do. Maybe she was maybe she was the bossy one. Maybe she kind of followed everyone. <laughs> maybe she always had the, the best ideas of what, what we wanted to play. And follow that girl. Keep her with you through the years all the way up to where you are now. And how can you bring that girl, that little innocent girl, alive, even facing the challenges that you might be facing now? What might she be telling you to incorporate more relaxation? Maybe let yourself off the hook for something. Maybe forgive someone or forgive yourself. And realize that you really are super okay exactly how you are. And I want you to picture a goal that you have. So maybe it is a goal in CrossFit. Maybe it's a goal with shape-shifting. Maybe it's a goal even in your life. So whether it's fitness or relationship, think of, think of how you want to feel, how you're going to step into that. Picture yourself already there. And then think of, think of you about 10 years from now. Think of a you about 10 years from now, maybe everything you've accomplished, everything you're still like, you know, fit, working out, taking care of yourself, and you've learned some things. So I want you to think right now, what does this 10 year away version, woman of yourself, what is, what is the lesson and the message that she is telling you, the wisdom that you need to hear today? Take that wisdom in. Take another deep breath. And go ahead and open your eyes. Cool. All right, so you're going to share really quickly with someone to your right or left. Find a partner. You're going to share one or two things you learned today. You can also share maybe what your message was from your future self, if that was powerful for you. Then you're going to share two practices that you are committed to doing over the next three weeks that have to do with something you're learning today. Again, maybe it's a food goal, maybe it's a CrossFit goal, um, maybe it's a practice, maybe it's the mirror work, maybe it's just practicing positive thoughts or eating slow. Like it could be something super simple, but something you're gonna commit to for the next three weeks. And I want you to share that with your partner and then you guys are gonna share contact information if you don't already have it and schedule a check-in and a results call with each other. So this is for three weeks. You're gonna schedule a check-in call somewhere about halfway and you're gonna schedule a results call where you finish 21 days from now and check in with each other and be like, yeah, I did my mirror work three times a week. Um, I ate slow for, for breakfast every single morning. Like make it a, you know, a small, like super, measurable, manageable goal. Um, so go ahead and take just a few minutes to share and do that now. If you uh, need to do like a group of three, you can do that as well.
So quick thank you to Chesty for coming, hanging out. We had to shut the poor garage door on her. Um, so I think she's still out there. If you guys want to go back out, just check out the, the merchandise. Um, she's super sweet and they're awesome sports bras with like padding when you're doing like barbell stuff. Um, revolutionizing the sports bra and they're cool. And uh, we also had RX Bar as a sponsor, so big thanks to them. Um, a couple ways, if you guys want to stay connected, um, <coughs> Again, TessieTracy.com, blog, freebies. Uh, you can get on my newsletter, one-on-one um, -on -one coaching. I do that. I really just have room for like a few clients and I do work mostly with the eating psychology, positive body image, and some like goal setting, habit goal setting type of stuff. Um, I am doing a 10-day food and body breakthrough. So if you guys wanna continue this with a little more support, for 10 days, it's gonna be like, you'll get an email every day um, and some videos, there'll be a private Facebook group. It's just $35 and that's gonna start on Wednesday. Um, so if you guys go to tessietracy.com slash FBB for food and body breakthrough, that'll be a 10 day challenge starting Wednesday if you guys wanna do that. And you can always email me at tessie at tessietracy.com if, if you have questions about that too. Okay, are you guys ready for the this? Does anyone have any questions? Okay. Who's it gonna be? Oh, this is nerve wracking. Emma! Woo! Yay! <laughs> Congratulations on your chesty, girl. <laughs> well, I was like, cause there's like an Amelie, there's an Amelie in here, there's an Emily, so I was like, what's the? It's Emma. Cool. So you can bring this out to the chesty tent and tell her that it's you. Awesome. Well, thank you, ladies, so so much for coming. Thank you, Tessie. Like, thank you, thank you, Diso, for having us, Charlie. Yay! Um, if you guys have any follow-up questions, again, you can email me um, or come talk to me. Thank you so much for coming. This was awesome. Thank you.